Well, welcome back to another exciting video where today we make that thing. So, please watch the video and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to leave now. First thing we're going to need to start with is a measurement. So let me just measure up some stuff. I've already cut the squares out and shaped them to, uh, this is six inches by three inches. And that's how I made the top. And I'm just cutting out three pieces. I'm going to glue them together. Then I'll glue the handle on. You know, little details. I don't know about the valve on the top yet. This might take me some time to find something to use like that. But before we go to sand it, I'm going to, I just actually did rough cut on the bandsaw, the shape. It's got a little wonky shape to it. So now I have this pin that I don't know what I was going to use for it. Now I'm going to draw a hole in the center of this all the way down and use this kind of as a structure piece in here. And if it sticks out a little, I can either trim it off or use that to connect to the whole gun. Got the handle made nice and uh, sanded out, as you see. It's um, it's a handle. Okay, so, yeah. I have made this part, um, the main part. Got the hole. I need to add some of the little V's in here for the fake lights. I don't have real lights because I don't know how to use LEDs. And the guy I know for LEDs doesn't want to work on that. And maybe in the future, we'll make one with LEDs. Excuse the dust in my shirt. So now we gotta figure out how to take this and this and merge them. To be like that. You, go away, go away. It is done. I'm happy you made it this far in the video. Here is the gun. There it is. You can see we chose to use a 30 millimeter round dowel for the green thing right there. It was very short too though, I mean, very, very short one. Um, very simple, too simple. <laughs> Don't have much to say for this, but uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. By the way, if we hit 100 subs, I will make Link's sword from Zelda. So I'll see you next time.